stuck. to me how are you feeling you experiencing any dizziness nausea difficulty breathing the breathing thing rings a bell then again you are on top of me cutting off my air supply <laughs> your mental clarity is excellent that's good it's good you don't appear to have a concussion to quite a fall why are you still on top of me That's a good question. Well, you see that dumpster there? Seems that dumpster tried to kill you. You were standing in the middle of the, the road and it was coming right at you. Just take your time. Sit up straight, you okay? You saved my shoe and my, my life. Yeah, the shoe's what I was going for. You just turned out to be a bonus. Now, come on, we're going to try and get up. Take your time. Take your time. Pretty modern girl you have there. Who? Your uh, girlfriend. Oh, no, that's that's my sister. Yeah, and I guess you could say she's modern. Uh, the last time I saw her, she had a, a spike through her chin. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how she got near the dumpster and what happened with the shoe? Did they? Did they? Oh my God! Oh my God! You're alive! You oh, I'm me? so happy. The nurse, the nurse found my phone number taped to your Palm Pilot, and she told me what happened, and 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 and. Is this the guy who saved you? Hi. I wouldn't exactly call it a rescue. I mean, I don't know, she was the right place, right time. I... <laughs> well, aren't you just the modern day hero? <laughs> Penny? Are you okay? Penny Nicholson, nice to meet you. <laughs> Steve Edison. It's nice to meet you too. Please have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Mary's gonna be fine. So, uh, you must work long hours. Are you working late tonight? No, no, I'm not even on duty tonight. But um Great! Uh um, you know, Mary and I were gonna go to Golden Gate Park. They show old movies on the side of the museum, and uh you should come with us. Well, yeah. We won't take no for an answer. Penny, will you leave him alone, please? Oh, you you don't you don't want me to go? No, no. Of course she not... wants you to go. You know, the truth is, Doctor, that I've uh I've been thinking about a career in medicine, something medicinal or whatnot, and I'd really like to just pick apart your brain. Mary, watch out for his thumb. He heard it saving some old lady. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I can't. Listen, I've got to try and engage myself. Oh, that's an interesting okay. choice of words. Wallflowers, it's time to blossom and bloom. Obviously, what we have here, people, is a fear of dancing. And it's my firm belief we must conquer one's fears. Now, I have to gauge what I am dealing with, so I will play music, you will dance, and I will observe. Okay, Renee? Yes, thank you. Uh... Mary, would you like to dance? Have no fear, dance. Dance. Dance? Yeah. <sighs> Old lady, huh? Listen, this is... You told me your name was Steve? Oh, it is Steve. My last name is Edison. Fran calls me Eddie. It's a nickname. I have a better nickname for you. How about common, cheating, hey, sleazy hey. son? 
If you're thinking... What I'm thinking involves a machete and a pair of pliers. <sighs> okay. Now, the day that you had the accident... That was a special day. Yes, it was. I was running late. How convenient. I was on my way to meet Fran and our wedding planner, which Guys. you turn out to be. What are the odds? Dance! Dance! Don't dance around the issue. I'm you didn't not. show that day because you don't want to get married. I see it all the time. You see what? Why'd you tell your fiance you saved an old lady? Exactly. <sighs> you think you want to get married, but you don't. You're just pitiful and confused looking to get some hot pepper wherever you can. Oh, Mary, you have no idea what you are talking about. Yeah? Yeah. Then why did you go to the movies with me? Why did Steve go to the movies with you? Well, let's see. First of all, Steve likes the movies. Steve had the night off. Steve said, hey, you know what? A movie sounds good. Plus, he got an invitation. Why is Steve referring to himself in the third person? What are you talking about? You think you can double talk your way out of this? Throw me off your scent? But I smell you. I smell like sweet bread plums and grilled cheese sandwiches. What? Yes. That's what you said to me in the street right before you passed out. I did not. You did, too. I had to say if you were looking to get some, it's M-A-R-Y. Oh, you're hideous. OK. Then why'd you ask me to dance? I didn't. Oh, you did, too. I Up did not. Tree, you said, Steve, would you like to dance? And even if I did, I'm not the one who's engaged. It was a dance. Hope you do. It didn't mean anything. Yeah? Did you ever think about that night in the park? What? I barely know you. I don't know your dad's first name. I don't know if you ever wore braces or, or contacts or glasses. And I have no idea how you came to be a wedding planner, Mary. But I know the curves of your face. And I know every fleck of gold in your eyes. I know that that night in the park was the best time I've ever had. <sighs> Please say something. I'm a magnet for unavailable men. It's simple. I know Fran. I respect her. And she loves you. So besides your tux measurements, that's all I need to know. Please go away. 